Hey hi everyone welcome back to learn-automation.com this is Mukesh in this video we'll see how to handle uh, dynamic radio button checkbox in Selenium web driver so before jumping into the actual program let's see what exactly we are going to cover so we'll see how to handle the web element which has the same property so we will be using here find elements method of selenium and then we'll see how to click on a specific element based on the specific value so before jumping into the code let me show you here we have four let's take these two checkboxes if you see these two checkboxes which is singing and coding here id is sing and code but you can see the name is same here so for both the checkboxes the name property is language and language and if you see the same thing for this currently we have four checkboxes in this normal scenario sorry this radio button so java c sharp python and ruby all these four having a same property called name id and type so ID is unique here Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby but if you see the name is language, language, language and language right so if I try to write my X path like search for a specific input box where name equal to lang not input box exactly uh, I'm looking for particular checkbox or radio button so when I say find an input tag where name equal to lang it is giving me these checkboxes and radio buttons right but I need only and only radio button so I can add one and condition here and I can say at the rate type equal to radio so you can see now it is only returning these four web elements so another question comes when we have the same property and we are matching with multiple web elements how to deal with that but we can see here we have some text as well right for every here you cannot see the value but if you have the value you can select using a value as well so let's take this scenario first uh, here we will take one so let's see how to handle this kind of scenario so I will right click and I will create a new class and class I will say handle radio buttons I will take public static void name I will increase the font so let's get start with a uh, browser first I will start browser so I will start Chrome and I will specify the URL so URL which we will take is this I will add this URL in the description now we need to work with radio button so we have written our own X path where we are looking for a specific web element so since we are working with multiple web elements we have to use find elements by X path so what exactly this X path will return this X path will return four matching node since we are using find elements method here it will return me list of web elements and I will say let's say radio we need to import list from java.util we need to import web element as well from selenium now this is a list now I will write one enhance for loop and enhance for loop we need to take web element every time because we will get list of web elements so every time this radio will return me one unique web element 
or else you can take direct for loop which will start with 0 which will go till the number of values we have so we'll say size here and i plus plus so every time it will return me one web element so i will start with 0 and i will go till the number of elements i have since we are using list to get the value from the list we use get method so i will say this radio dot get if I pass a specific index, it will return me that particular element. Since we are running a for loop, every time it will give me a new web element that I will store in a separate variable. Let's say local radio. Now if you see this radio button having an ID and value. So let's say I want to print the values of all the checkboxes or radio button. So I will take this local radio dot get attribute value. So when I say value, it will return me as a string. So I will say value, and I will keep printing, and I will say values from radio button are. value only three lines of code we have written we just started our URL we found give me all the radio buttons which have the name attribute as length it will return you four we will start with a for loop that will start with zero it will go till the number of web elements we have every time we'll pick one web element and we will get one attribute called value so value is nothing but this Java C sharp Python Ruby and it will print. In the next program we'll see how we can select based on the value. As of now it will simply print. So it it started very fast and it has it has printed all the values. I added driver.quit so it's closing very quickly uh, quickly so let's run it again and you can see it is printing the values but we don't have to print we need to click on the link right or radio button checkbox so we'll add a small condition here and we'll add if the value which we are fetching if it is equal to or equal ignore case ruby then click on it so this is our web element so i will say local radio dot click so this is how it works you need to only add one condition if value equal to ruby then click on it let me show you this in debug mode i will put one debug point at line number 32 and i will right click debug as java application this is previous one i will close okay so you can see our test stopped here So our test is stopped here we have one value called java you can see here and we are comparing with ruby so first it will print it printed that will compare if java equal to ruby no it will just go to the another loop and you will see right now i value is zero here so when i say one, it will increment by one it will take the second web element it will take this value and this time value we have is c sharp so it will print c sharp here it will again check whether equal to ruby no it will again keep iterating the loop this time it is checking the value which we have is python again not satisfied now this time it will match 
because it will take the fourth element which is rupee it will print now it will compare now you can see here right now no other option is click but when you say run it you can see it click ruby has clicked and now it is again checking the list which is empty now it will come out of this for loop and select it so you can see it's very straightforward you need to only understand how you are traversing the list if you understand how to traverse the list same thing will be applicable for check boxes as well so let's say if i have two check boxes so how can i do that i will search for small window let me show you here If I right click on any of this and say inspect, I have IDS singing, IDS coding, but the name is lang and type equal to checkbox. So I can write a small X path here. I will say find one input tag where type equal to checkbox. Right. So you can see it's matching with two. You can see this X path will if I read this X path, this X path will match with two web element because in this page we have two checkboxes. So if you see here it's showing two of two. Same thing if you write here. It will show you two matching node one is this one is this so how to handle this kind of scenario I will again go back in the same program and here I can write I will write driver dot find elements make sure you have to take find elements by X path and X path I will use this checkboxes so definitely this will return me list of web elements so I will store in list of web elements L should be small and I will say check box now I can run a for loop which will start with 0 then it will go till the number of check boxes we have so I will say check box dot size then I plus plus now every time I will take one checkbox from this and I will say get off I it will return me a specific web element now let's see what other properties they have it is a property of saving and coding so the, uh, they do not have value but if they have value, you can use value as well. Let's now I will use saving or coding. So I will take ele dot get attribute id. So it will return me id of that particular element. And here I will check if id dot equal ignore case equal to code then ele dot click 
and break the loop as well because if you do not give break it will keep checking all the web element which is not required so in the first section we have handled the radio buttons in the second section we are handling the check uh, check boxes we have found all the check boxes then we are running a for loop we will take one by one we will take id every time if id equal to code then it will click and then it will break so let me run this normal mode so you can see it's clicking on ruby and it's clicking on coding itself okay so this was the possible scenarios so like this you can start exploring the different web application where you will find the same properties and then you can use this find elements and you can iterate using list you will find a pattern there must be some value associated with the every web element so i use this basic for loop you can use enhanced for loop as well which we have done in the previous videos so that's all I have for this video. If you still have any doubt, feel free to reach out to me. Okay, shoot one here at the red line. I have not mentioned that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.